Included on your Sibelius DVDs or in your Sibelius 7 download were some extra third-party programs. Two of these are Photoscore Lite and Audioscore Lite. This video deals with using Photoscore Lite to import a part from a PDF, although you can also scan in music that isn't covered by copyright into Photoscore from your scanner. Audio score isn't covered in this video since you won't contribute to your film score with audio score, but its use is outlined in your book. To import a PDF, click the Open PDFs button and then locate the timpani.pdf file, which you'll find in the Lesson 5 folder within your Core Resources folder. If Sibelius asks you to choose a resolution, choose 300 dpi. By default, Photoscore will read your score as soon as it is imported, and this is shown by the green progress bar on the left. Once read, Photoscore opens its output window, ready for you to proofread and edit the file. Here at the top of the screen is the original image that you imported, with a full detail view at the top right. Down at the bottom is the score as Photoscore has read it, as you move your mouse over the score, everything is coordinated to help you proofread. If it hovers over a note, it changes purple in all three views to help you quickly compare. Your import may look slightly different to mine, so go through it and check for mistakes. If any pitches need changing, simply drag them up and down like this, or select them and then use the arrow keys. Photoscore helps you spot bars with rhythmic errors by drawing red lines and also showing what durations the bar is too short or long by. If I delete a note from this bar, you can see that Photoscore tells me I'm now missing that note length. Adding missing notes is easy. Photoscore has a keypad just like Sibelius, so quickly click in the missing notes if you need to. You can glance up at the original if you can't remember what pitch you need to enter. The only error in my score import is that it hasn't read the multi-rests. This is a limitation of the light version, as is the fact that all of the dynamics, articulation marks and phrasings are missing. But you need to make sure that the bars add up, as after creating this part, you're going to copy and paste it into another score. To input the multi-rests, go to Create, Bar Rest, Multi-Rest. For the first multi-rest, we need four bars. Click OK, and then click on top of the existing rest to replace it. You should repeat this process for the other three missing multi-rests. When you're happy with the score, click the Send to Sibelius button on the toolbar, and the Open Photo Score or Audio Score file dialog box will appear. In this simple score, we could just leave all of these settings as defaults, but it's good for you to learn how to choose the instruments manually, so click that button and then click OK. In the Instruments dialog, type timpani and add the timps to the score. Click OK and if Sibelius asks you if you want to change playback configuration, just say no. The editing that is left to be done is a result of the limitations of the light version of Photoscore. If you've been impressed with this process and would like Photoscore to also capture dynamics, phrasing, text and so on, consider upgrading to Photoscore Ultimate. In the meantime, you need to manually input the missing dynamics. Refer back to the original PDF if you need to, which included an MP at bar 5 and an F at bar 40. In addition, there should be a trill over the long D in bars 44 to 46. To add this, highlight these bars, press L for lines to open the lines gallery, and select the trill line. Naturally, this will play back. Save your timpani part before you finish, because in the next part of this lesson, you'll import it into a bigger score.